Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is a box and whisker plot video. Um, so this first page is just basically explains what a box and whisker plot is. A uh, box and whisker plot is a way to organize and display large amounts of data by breaking the data into four quartiles. So if you think a dollar is made of four quarters, these are four quartiles. It's very similar at five key data points. So we have our quartile one, and we have our lower extreme. This is our lower quartile, or first quartile it's called. Um, this is our quartile two. This is the median, which could also be called your second quartile. Your upper quartile, which is your third quartile, and then your upper extreme. Okay, um, the extremes are also sometimes called outliers, depending on how far they are from the median. So each quartile of the box and whisker plot contains one fourth or 25% of the whole data. The box of the box and whisker plot is made of the middle 50% of the data and has a special name, the inner quartile range. The inner quartile range can be found by subtracting the lower quartile or first from the third quartile. Um, let's see, the whiskers of the plot are the upper and lower 25% of the data. Um, so the box and whisker plot has four quartiles that are similar in size. This means the data has been evenly distributed. Since we can't see the data, it's hard to picture exactly how everything's spread out. So let me go ahead and move forward and show you what we're going to do. Um, this one I'm going to do the first couple for you, and then I'll let you uh, do the rest of them on your own. Um, so the first thing you should do is print this uh, from Schoology so that you can work through this video with the paper um, on your desk and watching this. But it says, identifying box and whisker plots with color. In order to analyze a box and whisker plots, you must first be able to identify all the parts. Use the given key to add some color to the box and whisker plots below. And you can use the colored pencils that are on the counter in my classroom. But it says the five key values are blue and we're supposed to label those. So let me do that first. So I have my, let me go back and see if I can see my five key values. They're all right here. One, two, three, four, five. So lower extreme, lower quartile or first quartile, median, upper quartile or third quartile, upper extreme. Okay, so we have the lower extreme. That's going to be here. We have the upper extreme, and that's going to be there. I know that this is the median. This is the upper quartile. And this is the lower quartile. So I've done this first part and then it says the first quartile should be purple. So let me pick a purple pen. Should be purple. And what does the first quartile look like? Well if I've forgotten, it says lower quartile. So quartile one is this right here. Okay so let me go back. So that's going to be this first quartile is there. Second quartile is green stripes. So let me get green. And I would say this is my second quartile. Okay, third quartile is purple polka dots. So I have my purple polka dots. The fourth quartile is orange. Okay, and then it says the interquartile range. So the interquartile range is just the box. Should be yellow. So this entire box is going to be yellow. And that's what your uh, box and whisker plots should look like on this page. Okay, so you'll do the one, two, three, the, the next four. Um, and then you have some analyzing and identifying. So it says, uh, use the key given to add some color to the box and whisker plots. After you've colored each box, answer the questions. So you're going to color these the very same way that you did the first one. And by this time, it should be getting fairly easy. Um, you know that you need a, a blue 
um, pencil, a purple pencil, a green pencil, an orange pencil, and a yellow pencil. So five different pencils. Um, but down here we have some analyzing. So let me grab a color and I'm going to help you analyze this one. And then you're going to analyze the next one on your own. You still need to do all of the color coding on this on page one. But it says, in set A, what percent of the data is greater than 10 hours? So let's see, 10 hours is here, which is the, this is the median. So I know that 50% of the data is that direction, and 50% of the data is that direction, because the median is the middle. So this is going to be 50%. And then it says in set B, set B, uh, what percent of the data is less than 45 hours? So let's see, where's 45? 45 is here, right? So each one of these markings, like this, this is 25%, this is 25%, this is 25%, and this is 25%. So this is kind of here. So I know that 75% of the data is less than 45 hours. Okay, hopefully this is making sense. Uh, data set C, what percent of the data is less than 25 hours? So 25 is here. Okay, that's the median. So that means we have 25% here and 25% here. So you can, you can answer that one. Um, and I think you can do the rest of this. Let's look at six. Comparing B and D, which has the higher percentage of students playing at least 20 hours. B and D. So 20 hours is here. So that's 25%. And here, 20 hours is here. And that's going to be 50%. So you can tell which one is higher and you can answer that. Um, which set of data has the largest interquartile range? So that's when you take that's when you take the number that's here and you subtract the number that's here. And so you're looking for really the largest box. Um, and then the smallest box the median is the largest, the median the smallest. Remember that the median is the line that's in the middle of the box, or inside the box. Okay, and I'll let you answer those questions. Here's another set of data and another set of questions. So um, I don't remember what the lesson planner says about when this is due. I think it's due on Monday, but um, I'd have to go back and take a look. I'm not 100% sure. But your first um, first thing you should do is print this out so that you can go through this video with the piece of paper and you can pause it when you need to. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.